Well, tonight we have an update on the health of 12-year-old Spencer Thorsalin of Brandon, the young boy we've been following for the past month as he continues his courageous fight against cancer. We've been told that Spencer is in hospice care at home, so he'll no longer be able to take trips or even go over to see any of his friends. His mom says that he had a rough night last night, but like Spencer has told us from the very beginning as we were invited to follow his journey, some days are good and some days are bad, but as you're about to see today, it was another good day. What's up, Spence? Hi. How we doing? Good. Give me some talks. I'm Micah. Good to meet you, buddy. How's it going, buddy? I'm Jackson. Thanks for having us. Six players from the Sioux Falls Stampede hockey team stopped by to present Spencer with some special presents. So we got a little gift for you. We just had our Star Wars night this we had past week. We Star Wars week, you night, know. so. Heard you're a big Star Wars, Star Wars, you're a big Star Wars fan. So we got you a Star Wars Whoa. jersey. Whoa. The whole team signed it, too. We got everybody signed it on the back. Dude, that's so cool. Yes, yeah, for you. All wow. You. The team has been following Spencer's story and wanted to do yeah, something yeah, special yeah. for him. Yeah, that's what it's all about, seeing that smile on his face and just trying to help him out. And, you know, a lot of pain goes on with stuff like this. Um, so just trying to bring a smile to his face is, is really special. It's a lot bigger than hockey. While this put a smile on his face, last night his mom says Spencer was in a lot of pain. My ultimate hope was that we could beat this still, but as things are progressing, uh, just that it can be very peaceful. Um, the pain episodes, I don't like watching that or seeing that, so if we can make sure we're staying on top of pain or we have our little emergency med that like, um, we can give it right now and it makes the pain stop, just peaceful, being able to just sit together, talk, and just very quiet, pe peaceful time together is my hope for him as we continue down this. To help manage that pain, Spencer is on a daily regimen of pills. He continues to touch people's hearts all across the country, even around the world now. It's humbling and it's surreal and it's kind of sort of unbelievable too with how many people are affected by his story and uh, how many people he gives hope and strength to believe and, uh, you know, so positive effect so yeah. I mean we just can't thank everybody enough or individually but um, even just getting those little text messages here and there or somebody reaching out and posting I'm thinking of you it means a lot and the prayers we can feel the prayers because we still have good days you know like this is my day today I'm gonna live today my brother's here today he's gonna play with me today um, what are we gonna accomplish today yeah really focuses on the day and Spencer has been fighting his cancer now for over three years, and the family is still praying for a miracle.